Hello, good afternoon. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? I hope it's going well. Welcome to Chocolate One. My name is Beth Hitchcock. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. I have a fun little uh, bathroom decor project for us to do today. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Um, we're going to do, put you down here, freshen up. And I, own, I only have two of the 5x5 five five box frames, so we'll get to do two of those today. And then I think I have some more of these coming in my next order, so we'll be able to um, finish the project up completely. So I've already marked the back of my transfer. Oh, back up here. If you're watching, would you please say hello? I'd love to see comments pop up. Um, Makes me feel like I'm not doing this all alone. And uh, if you would please sprinkle and share this, uh, share the love with your uh, other crafty friends that might be interested in what we're doing, that would be great too. I appreciate that. And did I tell you, Chocotour is a high-end DIY home decor company where you create beautiful things for your halls and walls. And um, that's what we're doing today. So let me put you back down here now. I haven't been doing the picture in picture um, because it seems like it, my video starts liking, although I've had, been having pretty good luck with the Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna take my transfer trimmers and trim along this cut line. You could just cut the whole thing, but I've been finding, once it gets going, it's pretty easy. Um, once it gets going, it's pretty easy, she says. Um, there we go. This is, I think this is gonna be a sticky transfer. It's really stuck to that backer sheet, good. Um, I've been, what I was gonna say is, I've been finding um, it's easier for me to put these, there we go, put the um, transfers back on the backer sheet when I leave it whole like this, and it hangs nice, and I don't have a bunch of little pieces at the bottom of a bag, because how I store my transfers is I put them back in the cellophane envelope that they come in. Come on. Well, this is being a little difficult. Um, and I hang them on shower hooks on a dowel in my armoire in my bedroom. We're gonna wanna make sure we fuzz this one really good. This was from last year, I think. It's still available though. It's in our summer, our spring summer catalog. go. Once it gets going, it's okay. All right, so we have our transfers cut apart, and let me show, we'll start up with the freshen, freshen up. That's cute. We're going to be using our double-sided box frames. These are such a nice surface. And, oh, this in the front bathroom. So this is the surface and it you can be it can be a standing you can just stand it up or you can hang it because it has a, a little lip on each side. So it has this nice white side here and then it has the dark uh, the natural wood. And 
I think I was going to do it in the white, but then I was thinking, I love Dune, and let me see if I have enough Dune. I probably do. Dune would look really good on that wood and kind of um, would go better with the decor in my bathroom. So we'll get a stir stick here. This looks pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit of distilled water in it just to moisten it up a little bit. Um, so this is chalk paste and it does dry out. Um, but and the reason you use distilled water and not just tap water is, is to prevent mold from growing in it. Distilled water is the most natural form of water there is, or pure, purest form of water. I wouldn't say natural, but purest form. That looks good. And here we go. Oh, let's get our surface ready. We have to wax this because it's wood. I'll wax all my wood surfaces. Whew, it's been a it's been an interesting couple of days here, I'll tell you. We live on 10 acres in uh, nor northern Idaho, rural, and um, we it's wooded. And we have had some trees that needed to come down. And uh, so we have some guys working here to, uh, yesterday and today. Yesterday, the dogs uh, just went crazy all day barking at the chainsaws, at the trees falling, because when those big boys hit, or girls, they um, the whole house shakes. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. And um, I was talking to the loggers, and... Um, well, and let me just explain, we're not just cutting trees down to be cutting trees down. These needed to come down. Some of the trees are diseased. Some um, are too close to the house for comfort. We've had a couple of really good windstorms this year. And um, it's pretty scary to see those big old trees swaying as, as they do. They are heavy and it would just crush the house. So, and these guys have a, um, a sawmill uh, in Montana. They're from Montana. And um, so they're going to take the, they're doing all the work for us. And then they're, they're, in exchange, they get the trees, which is a lot of wood. And um, so the trees are ranging from 90 feet tall to 150 feet tall. I'm telling you, big trees. And um, the larger trees, Tim was telling me that, um, oh, now I'm just buffing this off. Tim was telling me one tree is enough wood to build about a 2,500 square foot home. So isn't that interesting? That's a lot of wood. You think about one tree built a house. That's pretty amazing. Now I'm going to, we'll be using this again later. So now we're going to take our transfer, pull it off the backer sheet, I have some projects I need to finish up, like, you know the porch leaner that I did the other day on the white? I'm probably going to end up sanding that back off. I didn't really like the way it came out in the very end, so... Um, I'll sand that down and probably redo it. You know, you live and learn when you try things. And you kind of, that's how you kind of figure out what's going to work for you. And not everything works every time. But you learn something from that experience. So... So I've kind of got these unfinished projects sitting around. The beaver, I never did redo the um, Beaver Falls Lodge. 
Um, but I found, I like the way that the uh, Find Your True North sign looked on the wood that we had the beaver on that I had to take off because it wouldn't lay down. I put, I think I put too much wax on the surface. line this up in here. Press out my air bubbles. So this sure does make it easy, these surfaces. They look nice, and you can, you know, dress them up by sanding them or repainting them, or you can just use them the way they are because they do look so nice. Now I'm wondering if I really want that on there or not, or do I want black? Let's see here. That's pretty... It's a good, con big contrast. Mm. Oh boy, sorry, dogs are just gonna go crazy today. Got trees down everywhere, they're I think we're gonna do the black. I think there's I think that's gonna give us a better contrast. We'll get our small squeegee here. I'm going I have to figure out how to just go live just using um, Facebook and not not switcher anymore because uh, Facebook is not notifying people of, of the lives. So I just put this on. Use a 90 degree angle to apply your paste. And there's no right or wrong direction. Are you scared, Izzy Bear? Does that scare you? You're fine. My little dog, Frankie, was actually a little bit hoarse this morning from barking so much yesterday. Poor little guy. They're, um, you know, they bark a lot anyway. But it's worse when I have anybody over here working it's always worse. Now I'm just skimming off as much extra as I can and pushing it through that mesh screen. So our transfers are, they're not stencils. There's a mesh silk screen um, in there. So, you know, a stencil is, um, doesn't have, it's just, you know, um, open. And this is, let me find my little multi-purpose tool here. Um, the transfer has that mesh screen and then the vinyl, so it's reusable. Oh boy, did that come out nice. Isn't that crisp? I love it. That is nice. I'm gonna, Wash this really quick in my pan of water over here. So um, you wanna wash your transfer really quickly. Or 
or you know, it's reasonably quick after. You don't you don't want to let it dry overnight with paste on it. You have a probably a really hard time getting that paste out of there. I'm gonna have to get a bigger pan of water. That's just oh boy, that was a big one that just went down. I think there's probably about 25 trees out there too. Either that or somebody's doing target practice. Never a dull moment in North Idaho, I'll tell you. I'm gonna get as much as I can. I may take this to the kitchen sink and work on it a little bit more. The dark uh, paste do um, tend to, the pigment does tend to stain the vinyl part of the transfer, but that is not to worry. As long as you have your silk screen cleaned, you're good to go. I'm just gonna dry this for a minute here. It's pretty drippy. Whoops, I spilled my tea. Look at this. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of this off. trick works better for um, mainly for the smaller transfers like the our small uh, five by sevens or a size transfers this one is a little bit long sorry that's really squeaking okay and then you can see that um, it did stain it a little bit, but the, the silk screen is completely clean, so that's gonna be just fine. And I'm just gonna set it over here to finish air drying. That is cute. Easy, crisp. Let's dry that. Let's plug it in first. <laughs> You can really just see it dry too when you're using your uh, drying tool, so you can tell. And this will dry to a hard matte finish where, um, you know, on this with the black, <coughs> I don't know if I'd be able to take it off even though we waxed it because of the pigment, but you know, you could sand it down and paint it if you, didn't, if you wanted to change it. And then I still have the back side that I can put another uh, design on. So let's do the next one. Like I said, I've only got two of these little boxes. They're so stinking cute, though. I don't think I've used, I've used the 5 by 7 Because we have the 5 by 5 and 5 by 7 and um, oh, I know I took a lot of them to a, a, a make and take party that I had. That's why I have low supply. Okay, so wax this. And we'll choose which two we're going to use today. Oh, hey, Barb, how are you? Thank you for saying hello. How are you doing today? 
Have you been busy creating? I also like to put the wax on the frame because I just think it makes it look a little richer. Sometimes the wood looks a little dry to me and that just... on the counter. We'll see. It might have been like one of the defective ones that I had to have replaced, but we'll see. Okay, where are... Oh, here they are. Over here. Excuse me. I think we'll do the fresh soap and water five cents. cloth for cleaning on now that I've used it for that. I have to wash it. You can kind of get a feel for how much fuzz you need to put on here. You can hear it too. The, it, um, the sound of it pulling up is softer as you get more fuzz on there. This is the right size frame. Maybe I need the five by sevens. I thought they were five by fives. No, nope, I need the bigger frame. Let me see if I have two of those. I hope. This one back. Protect my little corners while I store it in case I were to drop it. I don't know why I thought those were the five by fives. No clue. No biggie. Over here. That's going to fit better, I think. Let's relax it. I don't know why they're just starting to bark now. The men have been here working all day. 
so dogs, dosh hounds no less. Okay, let's try this. That looks better. Move it over a little bit. just off shaped a little tiny bit for this frame. See if I get all of it in there. I wonder what era they got this um, price from. Fresh soap and water, five cents. You know, they used to, in the pioneer western days, they used to pay, I don't know, five nickel for a bath or something like that. Let's see. Trust that squeegee's got too dry. up to the edges there where the transfer goes. And then we'll scrape off our excess and put it back in your paste jar. It wouldn't be a craft day if I didn't have paste all over my fingers. Let's get all these hard lines off of here. on the frame, darn it. There we go. There's fresh soap and water. That's cute. Wash this right here. Let me scrape some of that paste off of there that was in the edge of it. And get a wipe here fingers. Thank goodness for aprons.
you've heard this or not before, but you can um, use these wipes, these disinfectant wipes. This is a Clorox disinfectant wipe to clean these with also. And um, they say that it helps rejuvenate, uh, preserve the adhesive on the back of your transfer. So that's a little tip. I think I've heard people go back and forth about it, but I've used them before and my transfers have lasted me pretty good. So I think it's worth a try. And we will dry this. Okay. That's our second one. Oh, I should try and wipe this off. Let's see if I can get a clean spot here. And it's probably not going to work too good. Oh. Well, that's the top of it, so darn it. I think it's okay. Boy, that was a juicy wet wipe. That's fine. Okay, let's do the second one or the third one. Like I said, I think I think I'll do um, three of these today. This transfer is available. You can go to my website. It's https or www.chocolatur.com hashtag chocolat one and click the shop button and that will take you to uh, the store where you can purchase everything here that I'm doing. And I can put a, I can drop a shopping link in there too if you're interested. Okay, so you get the soap and water for five cents, but the handhelds are free. <laughs> I want it to go that way. This way. I think we'll try it this way. I 
I'll make a little collage in there in the bathroom with these signs. Try and stay on your transfer because like I said, this black paste has a lot of pigment in it and it's hard to get off, even though we did wax. You can see the top of my frame where I touched it, it did um, leave it a little bit darker. There we go. Fill up my water spray by Mr. Bottle. And for cleaning your transfers, you don't have to use distilled water. You can use just regular water. It's just that that's what I have in here, so that's what I'm using. <laughs> Time. Let's just finish our project up here. That looks cute. Got a whole <clears throat> bathroom wall done. Um, it'll probably be 45 minutes and probably less than maybe fifty dollars <throat> for all of this decor that's pretty good want to change this out I can do the other side and I have double the projects and I'm having fun doing it We'll do this one straight up, like the fresh soap and uh, water. The 5x7 and the 5x5 um, five five double-sided box frames, I believe, are the same price in the catalog, too. It's going to be 
Wait. Hmm. I wonder if I go this way with it. Yeah, much better. We have two going vertical and one going horizontal, which will be fine. <clears throat> That'll make a nice collection. So if you're watching and you want to know more about Chalk Couture, um, I can let you know that we have a couple of different ways you can enjoy it. There is a monthly club um, subscription. It's mailed to your home. Uh, that is free shipping. It's $19.99 a month. You get a B-size transfer and three coordinating paste packets. And um, as a club member that's exclusive, <clears throat> you're entitled to other exclusive offers as well. Um, this month, if you do go shopping, get $100 in your shopping cart, you automatically get 10 and that's unlimited. You can go do $100 this week and go back next week because you forgot something and get another $10 off. So. Um, and almost every month they offer something special like that. I'm not going to get ink on that again. Or not ink, paste. Um, so that's that's a fun way to, to you know, kind of just check it out and see if you like it. And then um, you can also, you know, make a few extra dollars by becoming a designer. Uh, the kit is $99 plus tax and shipping, and that's your starter kit. It comes with five jars of paste, seven transfers, uh, an apron, chocolate chips, some really nice surfaces. Oh, that came out so good. Hello, sweet cheeks. Um, what else? Some thank you cards. Um, I know I'm forgetting, sounds like I'm forgetting something in that collection. Um, anyways, yeah, and then um, access, you get your own web page to start, you can start a little business with it, you can start a big business with it, um, it's, I've just been having so much fun doing this, you make a little extra money on the side, that's nice, kind of keeps me in chalk supplies is what it does, <laughs> and I've met so many nice people, you can win incentive trips, you know, all of that uh, stuff. So, so let me know if you're interested in that, and I'll get your information. Oh, and did I forget to mention that you get 40% off of everything that Chocotour sells? So um, that is amazing. Just forget that most important thing. In your very first order, or you can choose, you, have, you get a one-time 15% off um, coupon in addition to your 40%. So you can choose any order you want and take an additional 55% off, so more than half off. So that is pretty cool, if I, think, if I say so, and I say so. Okay, so let me kind of straighten up real quick and then we'll look at all of our project all together. I'm gonna do some serious straightening up in this office, I'll tell you. It is messy. So we have our little signs here. 
brush up so you can see. Those came out cute, I think. And then we have Freshen Up, so I could do a collage like this and let me get rid of that and pull it down a little bit now. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Well, I think it came out really cute. I'm super happy with it. Yay. All right, I'll come up here. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, I had a blast. I hope you had fun watching and I hope you were inspired to want to make something crafty for your home. Um, it's a lot of fun. So um, go out and have a good rest of your day and I will talk with you again soon.